We're in the heart of winter, but with temps near or above average, spring may be on the minds of millions. Especially the groundhog. Yes. Despite 56 days until the official start of the season, the first signs of spring have arrived for parts of the country. Joining us this morning is Teresa Crimmins. She is the Associate Director for the USA National Phenology Network. Teresa, thanks for talking to us this morning. All right, so what areas are the leaves starting to appear? We're really seeing some serious activity happening all across the southeast right now and even into Texas and Arizona. The Arizona and California parts aren't that surprising, but the southeast is way ahead of schedule. In some places, we're seeing uh, the start of leaf out like three weeks ahead of what we would expect for this time of year. All right, so what is this index that you were just showing us? What is that based on? So that's an index that's primarily a function of accumulated warmth. Um, the plant's exposure to warmer temperatures pretty much since the, the beginning of the, of the calendar year. Um, and it's an index that indicates when plants that are active the earliest in the season get going, basically, when they start putting leaves on and breaking buds. So how, how long have you had this index and how does this year especially compare to those in the past? Well, the USA National Phenology Network first started making these maps about four years ago, but we're able to calculate backwards using historical climate data and weather data uh, when the leaves probably came out in trees in years past. And so what we're doing right now is comparing this year's uh, date of leaf out to when it's generally happened over the last 30 years. Mm. And wow. what we see is that it's really pretty far ahead of when it has happened back in the, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. So what is that an indication of? Does that mean the blooms are coming next? Uh, we, if we keep seeing um, a warmth accumulating ahead of schedule, then yeah, we'll probably see blooms happening earlier than schedule. Uh, earlier, than what we, earlier than what we would expect as well. Um, this index, you know, it's, we call it the leaf index generally because a lot of deciduous trees put their leaves on before their flowers, but it actually captures conditions that are associated with the start of biological activity in the spring. And so in some trees like cherries and peaches and other important um, fruit trees, they actually put their flowers on first. And so this, this index can right. be indicative of when those fruit trees are putting leaves on, or, or sorry, flowers on, which is actually not great because those flowers are really frost sensitive. And so if those areas are exposed to freezing temperatures in the next weeks or months, and we might expect that given it's only mid-January, um, that can really be problematic for um, the, the, so the production. So I mean, we've seen, uh, you know, daffodils come out in Atlanta and then it got cold. Is, is, are yeah. they done for the season? You know, I don't know much about daffodils, but I think, yeah, I think that they're pretty tender and frost can knock them back wow. and then, right, they're done. They won't flower again. Can't we just have a normal season? Teresa Crimmins, thank you very much for the National Phenology Network. <laughs> exactly. Thanks for joining us uh, here this morning.